Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I'm joined, as always, by Charles, motherfucking Mahario. We got Alistair Sten, Morgan's back there, Liliana, and that is it. They are here with us. I have been doing quite a bit of off-screen work today. In fact, I need to turn some of this shit on. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, we're back in the party camp. Nobody wanted to talk to me about anything that happened in Orzammar, not even... What's his name over there? Uh, which I find very, very strange. I've been doing a lot of the side quests. Uh, let's take a look at my journal. I am almost done. Um, I just need to find more love letters. Uh, this guy's supposed to come find me. Uh, Denerim, there's some stuff that I need to do. I think everything outside of uh, this, um, where, once again, the guy's supposed to find me, Outside of that, I believe everything else uh, needs to be done in Denerim, except for, of course, the Blight and the Premium content, uh, which is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start doing some of the Premium content. However, before I got that started, we, we need to go over just one quick thing in the Codex. I wanted to look at the Broodmother here. Um, the Broodmother, where is it? It is down here. Okay. Uh, they are dwarves. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. So somehow the dark spawn taint uh, gets to these dwarves or humans or elves or kunari and uh, turns them into brood mothers. This is very, very strange to me. But how it works? Uh, just like I thought, humans produce herlocks, dwarves produce genlocks, elves are shrieks, and kunari are ogres. So that's what the dark spawn taint does to you over time. Just, just for the record. Um, I believe I have done a little bit of upgrades here, uh, so we'll just quickly go over those. Yeah, Barton's dancing shoes. That was weird that I wanted that. Um, everything else, yeah, pretty standard. Ice arrows. Uh, Morgan probably has the the best thing, the most expensive thing that I bought, which is the winter's breath. Winter's breath uh, does quite a bit uh, there, but it also I have a ton of money right now. I have so much money. Uh, I think after, outside of that, uh, most everything is the same. Uh, I believe that I am ready to take on whatever may come. Uh, Sten's still going to be in my party. He's got Faith's Edge now, though, which is which is a lot better than what he had before. I don't think I have any more use for the Blood Dragon anything, to be honest with you. Uh, I know that is premium content because I looked up all the premium content. That I don't know how much that initially cost for the Blood Dragon equipment, or maybe it was like a pre-order thing, but if you had to pay money for it, it wasn't worth it. Uh, Topsider's armor for, for Alistair now, that is that is important. I, Well, I personally feel like the, the weapons are, are much more important in this game than the defense, especially with Alistair since uh, he's got so much uh, defense naturally. And then Ogren and Liliana, they have a little bit of equipment. Uh, but that's really just to primarily hold stuff. I did purchase another backpack from Brazilian Forest Outskirts from the uh, the guy that I pissed off when I asked him to make stuff for me. Did not notice that he had a backpack before. Uh, we are going yes, with sir. our standard party. We, w I'll probably never use them unless I have to again. All right, so I believe I am at the uh, the Circle Tower when we last left off. So let's just go to the fastest. Spot. Bot, which would be Ban Lauren's Lands. We're going to do the premium content today. We are going to hopefully do the side quests. Uh, should it be too difficult, I will head back to Denerim or Arl Eamon or ho however I get that started. I think I have to go to Arl Eamon. But I should be fine here. What do we got here? What are you guys bitching about? Um, look at the unarmed man. Guards are guards. You are surprised to recognize the uniform of King Kalen's honor guard. A memory comes to you. You fought alongside this man at Ostagar. Uh, take a look at the guards then. The guards wear the uniform of Ban Loren, a minor lord well known and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. In other words, he will turn on you so fucking fast. All right, join the fray. And down goes the unarmed man. So much for joining the fray. 
But now we are up against the guards. These guys should not be too difficult. Yeah, they're not. They are not. These guys don't even have... Yeah, we don't have our shit on. Hold on. Uh, you need to turn on suppressing... Okay, rapid shot first. Uh, you need to turn on indomitable. And I think uh, shield defense is actually better for him than what I was doing before. And if you guys could keep attacking, that'd be great. Uh, you also need to turn on suppressing fire. But we still need to hit these private militia guys. You could probably heal Stan. That'd be appreciated. Uh, is he not dead yet? Jeez. These guys lived a lot longer than I thought. But these guys are not too tough now. These guys back here. Bad Lorenz lands. We are... If I wasn't supposed to be able to do this early on, it is not showing. This is pretty damn easy, to be honest with you. Stuff I've been taking on for quite some time. Let's not miss any of these elf roots here. I do want to try to get as many uh, health poultices as I can because I forgot to purchase them. Damn it, I tried to remember that I needed to do this. My desire is for you to stop being so damn clingy, Morgan. Scale gloves. No. Ugh. For how much strength those things require, they sure don't have very much defense. And after doing all that uh, running around and shit, I have decided that... Oh, Alric. Vice? Probably not. Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember him as Elric Marain, a member of Kaelin's honor guard at Ostagar and a close confidant of the king. Was I talking about... Oh, yes. Uh... Alistair, he needs 38 strength, like, immediately. How the hell is he alive? I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostagar. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. I'm hung. What? Uh, I, I recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the king. He was my friend, understand? I really Maker. don't all remember All that time him. in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. <laughs> I can't he wait here listening to you whine all damn day. All day? Your estimate's more generous than my own. But perhaps I can make it worth your while. If it's the likes of you who sees me to my final hour, perhaps things happen for a reason. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the wardens. You still got it? The maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. Why am I not surprised? Is there someone else we should be bringing back from the brink of death instead? I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. No, it's probably not, actually. Where? The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. I'll still get you'll lost. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark spawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. It is vital that the king's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the king's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the dark spawn's filth. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a sound that he got. Quest completed. Oh, okay. Now we need to return to Ostagar. Very nice. I thought that was this quest. Uh, that, is, that is a nice ass quest. I must. I must admit. All right. So we get to go back to Ostagar. We get to probably kill a whole shit ton of darkspawn that are hanging out there. Is that it? I have. To, why do I have to go here to open up down here? That doesn't make sense to me. But back to Ostagar it is. 
Hopefully we can get into a fight along the way with uh, whatever side quest I'm working on at the time. Uh, so if you guys were looking for the side quest, I, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm not doing those on screen. I probably did about two and a half to three hours uh, worth of content off screen. I mean, that took forever. We we're talking about a couple weeks worth of videos um, trying to get pretty much the stuff that I had already done turned in. A couple new quests. I mean, not very many new quests. And then repurchasing stuff. Uh, that took me about three hours or so. Somewhere around there. Um, in terms of, of actual real time. What? Were you saying something? I did figure out. Um, I don't know why I, I didn't do this on screen before. But uh, you, you can hold tab. And it'll show you all the things that are... Um, well, that you can interact with. Interactable? Is that even a word? It's things that you can interact with on the screen. Uh, apparently, I can interact with this raven, but it doesn't do anything for me. It looks like a big-ass crow, if you ask me, but I am no uh, coin collector. Ornithologist. Is that the word? No avian expert. How about that? That That is good enough. So, genlocks are actually are dwarves. Kind of. In a way. Not, oh, jeez, not nothing that great here. And an infirmary. I, what's with that? I can't do anything with the infirmary. Like they're specifically pointing out that I can't do anything with the infirmary. They can't do. Oh, they blocked off the way to where we were before. That was our camp down there. There, the hell is this crap? What is that? Okay, so. I'll try to, to to use the tab a little bit more often, but, uh, jeez. You guys coming my way? There we go. There they are coming. But I'm trying not to lure the too many of these at once, of course. Hopefully I, I, I don't lure all of them in, in, in one swoop here. How come I can't- there we go. I don't know what the problem was with him. Down goes the genlock. So genlock, if genlocks are dwarves, then definitely there are dwarven archers, because there are definitely genlock archers. Hey. I'll find more of those than anything else. You guys gonna come at me? You're just gonna stand there. You still can't do anything with the war council here. All right, here we go. Herlock Strider, which is apparently a mage of some sort. Fine. Let's zoom out then. If I put him to sleep, will it get the rest? It will. God. Things always in the way. Put him to sleep. There we go. I got at least most of them. Alright, now hit the genlock. Hit the other genlock. And apparently the strider had something on him. Hey. No running, you damn genlock. Come on, this guy's not that tough. So, don't know exactly when I was supposed to be able to come here. To be honest with you, it doesn't feel like the game has leveled up enemies ever. I feel like all the enemies are pretty much the same level. Kalen's Greaves. Ooh. Uh, Sten doesn't have 42 strength yet, but I will hold on to these just in case uh, those are an upgrade for him, which I think there are. The gems, by the way. The dwarves want those, so I did need to hold on to him. Nice. Wait. Wow. Okay, so Charles's boots have more defense. Uh, wow. I don't know whether Wait. to laugh or cry, but it's clearly Kalen's. There can be no doubt. Oh, my quest updated for that, and I didn't even notice. It was important that I grab that. And there is a chest over here. Well, yeah, I'll try to use that more often. I don't know why I didn't use it on screen. Well, you know, it's kind of cheap, but it saves me time, which is definitely what I want to do from now on. I freaking realized how long this game's going to be. I looked up some things. They, they, they didn't work out in my favor. Not what I was expecting. Now, joining Chalice! <laughs> Why can't I just pick it up then? I have the Joining Chalice. That is surely good for something. Ice arrows, always nice. Anything else around here? No. Uh, I did figure out that a lot of the premium content that I have 
with this game is in the form of outside quests. I don't know how else to put it. I think they call it other campaigns. Uh, literally not in uh, Dragon Age Origins main uh, game and not in Awakening. They're called other campaigns. I have five of those. Is your time to die? They are all coming, damn it. Okay, so. Uh, put this guy to sleep. Hopefully the rest of them get in range. We got a few of them in range. That's nice. Uh, hit. Yes. Ah, damn it. We got a couple of them awake at once, but it's just the two, so it shouldn't be too bad, except that they keep on falling over. Alright, now we can hit this guy. And this guy. Once again, I, it doesn't feel like the, the game is really. Oh, crap. Uh, did not realize Sten was nearly dead. No, you need to heal him. He needs to use that. He's gonna get it off. He did. Very nice. Um, yeah, really, the, the same enemies that I started with are pretty much what I have now to to deal with, more or less. You know what I mean? Started the game up against Herlocks. We're still fighting Herlocks here at the end of the game. More. Well, the premium content, which I've always assumed is is post end game, but probably not this game. And we got a Forge Master. I don't know if there's a Forge around here, uh, but we got a Forge Master guarding something. That's what he does. Oh shit, he died. That was real damn fast. Sorry, I missed your epic death. Surely it was great. Well, crap. Okay. Where are they coming from? Uh, we got an alpha here. That will be put to sleep. And you can attack him. Yes. And then we should be fine. If Alistair ever decides he wants to attack the guy that everybody else is attacking. So, oh, jeez. Why is everybody picking on... On Sten? What... The hell, Stan! You are not getting healed nearly as quickly as you should. Ugh, I have to use another health poultice on him. What is going on? They are focusing on Stan. Maybe it's just that Alistair, with his new shield defense or shield defense instead of shield cover, is is a lot better. But really, it feels like uh, it feels like Stan's just not doing as well. Could just be me, though. Okay, so round two down. Oh, and now we get a cutscene. Oh, hey, it's the dog that I killed. Yeah, he's not so happy with me. Poor fellow. Stuck amidst the dark spawn in the freezing cold. I wouldn't get too close. He looks about ready to eat your arm off. Probably. Uh, yeah, you can have something. Is he going to join now? Like, will he be part of my party because I fed him something this time? Uh, send him on his way? I don't really have a choice here. That's a good doggy. Go shed and drool over there. Whatever, he might be taking over your spot. He is a level 17 war dog. Um... You know, I just spent so much work leveling up Alistair, I'm going to keep him. But I will take a look at the dog later. Uh, probably before we head to dinner, I'll take a look at the dog. His name is not Dog. Shit, what is his name? Hold on while I think of a name. 